Have you seen Screento's social media post about the new playground for the mind? Well, I've been playing with it for a while, and the plan for today is to give you an overview of some of the new features. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel because there are many other videos like this coming up soon. Okay, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna ask you to think of these four buttons here as shortcuts because if we click here, take a look of how many new options we have to add things to the board. We even have, for example, image. But I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna simply drag the image here. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, now let's make this full screen. I'm gonna move this here. Now let's use the text from here. It's the same that you see here, but let's start using this other buttons here. Okay, new text. But this is not as it used to be in the past. We'll get there, but look at this. I can create a new one here. I had And I can drag this and connect to this other one. I can even rearrange it. Or, I guess you are already seeing it, I can do this. Now, if I want to, I can select all, let's call this my desk. This is so cool. <laughs> And of course, you can click here and create a document just like you used to do before. Okay, before we move on, let's do a quick recap here. When I click this plus icon here, what we are seeing are all these elements that I can use on the board. They are called blocks. Let's choose, for example, a task and create here what is a block? I can create another one. Let's choose, for example, web link. Okay, I can leave this anywhere or I can connect them. And after connecting them, I can also select it all and convert them into a document, okay? Now, here's a quick tip. If you right click anywhere on the board, there is the add block option. You can select it or type T. And from here, use the forward slash and choose any of the blocks. Of course, you can do the same here when you are adding a block. You can select any of the blocks. Okay, organize my board here. I made it more presentable because I have more things to show you. For example, here at the right hand side, do you remember how this used to be? It's much cleaner now. I loved it. But let's go to another board. I created another board here because I want to show you another possibility. So far, we are connecting blocks and creating documents from those blocks, and even moving uh, blocks from one document to another. But what if I told you that you can do more? So let's create here a new document. I'll call this one embedding. Now let's insert another document here, but I'm not going to create a new document. Let's look for a document. My Desk. Here it is. Remember, this is on the other board. Okay, this is already pretty cool because it's a document inside a document, but we can make it better, right? If I click here, I can change its size and I can even make it full, a full document inside a document. And if we go back to the other board and if I change something here, let's say so cool and go back to that board, check that. <laughs> and we can keep adding things here. For example, let's say, uh, let's add a quote. Quo. 
float. I'm going to add it inside here or inside here. Let's do it here. Let's go to that other board again. I don't know if you understood what just happened here, and I don't mean it in a technical way. Can you see how, how useful this is? We are editing a document inside another document without having to go to the original document. Imagine having multiple documents here and you can change something in one of those documents and that will be in fact being changed on the original document. I don't even know if I can call it original or this is not a copy, it's the same document. So this is big. This is this is something that if you have the if you if we go back to the my first videos about Screento and the fact that the cards have all the information, imagine you having all these snippets of information and no matter where you edit it, it's gonna change everywhere. I think this is this is really interesting. Another thing that we can do with the blocks or the documents is resize them. We can make them larger. But this is particularly useful if we are talking about something like a PDF. What about this one? Can we make it larger? Sure we can. Let's go to this other one here. Take a look at this. And remember, this entire PDF here is just a block. So I can, for example, add, let's say, a heading here. My PDF. The limit here is your imagination. For example, we can add, let's say, a tax here to uh, notes, to take notes. And then when you are done with your notes, maybe connect the notes block to the PDF block and create a single document. Or don't do that. <laughs> there are so many possibilities. And I think you should go check the possibilities for yourself. Go take a look at the new screen tool because this is such an improvement. It changed the way we deal with the information uh, on the board. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.